Hidden among the rough canyon terrain on the south fork of the Snake River lies the homestead of famous Idaho author Vardis Fisher and his family. Among many other works, Fisher is known for his book Mountain Man, later created into the famous movie Jeremiah Johnson featuring Robert Redford. In February 2012, with help from various partner organizations and money from the Congressionally Designated Land and Water Conservation Fund appropriations, the Bureau of Land Management was able to purchase 431 acres of the homestead site. With this newly acquired land, the BLM can ensure its rich history will always be available for the public and future generations. Looking at this beautiful property, it's hard to imagine the hardships facing early settlers, including the fishers. Winters were harsh, wild animals frequented the area, and without the Palisades Dam to regulate water flows along the South Fork, flooding was a common occurrence. Fisher described his childhood memories of the South Fork as a fearful stream and the whole mountain length of it. Joseph Oliver Fisher moved his family to what became the Fisher Ranch in 1901. The family lived in a small two-room cabin where the creek runs into the river. In 1912, J.O. Fisher built this home for his family. It was in the early 20s that Vardis put the porch on. The little house in the background was the rental or hired man's house. In 1935, Vardis built his parents a more modern cabin on a bluff above the 1912 cabin. He also constructed a small writer's cabin where he worked while visiting his family. In his book, Thomas Wolfe as I Knew Him, Fisher comments about the need to preserve this area as a wildlife corridor. Born of snow mountain springs among the high ridges of Yellowstone country, the Idaho Snake River area of environmental concern supports multiple listed species, the most unique and biodiverse ecosystem in Idaho, one of the largest cottonwood gallery forests remaining in the lower 48 states, rare wetlands, one-third of the greater Yellowstone ecosystem's bald eagles, world-renowned Blue Ribbon Trout River that supports the largest population of native Yellowstone cutthroat trout outside of Yellowstone National Park, and active water-based recreation programs. Over the course of the next 100 years, life along the South Fork would change dramatically. A highway running parallel to the river would allow quick and easy access for residents and tourists coming to and from Jackson Hole, Wyoming to Idaho Falls. With the onslaught of new technology and access to materials, development along the South Fork became a threat not only to wildlife relying on its unique ecosystem, but to recreationists who hike, fish, and boat this Blue Ribbon Trout Stream. Preserving this corridor with its pristine values is a priority for the BLM and its partners. Now with the purchase of Fisher Bottoms property, the public will be able to access and experience this cultural heritage site where a famous Idaho author once lived.